you all. I'm so happy to see you here. Um, are you ready to make another flower with me? We are going to make iris. Um, and I would like to make the two-tone one. So I am cutting right now uh, strips out of my um, big sheets of uh, crepe paper around three inches wide. I would like for my iris to have six petals. So I am going to simply make three white ones and three purple ones. Of course, to achieve that, I would just simply fold my um, each strip, the three inch strip that I'm cutting right now in half, um, <clears throat> because I do want my petals to be on a bigger set. Now we need to put the yellow crepe into work. We need that for the heart of our iris and we also need for those little details that are on the side of each petal. So of course you could paint those too, but I would like to use my paper. Okay, let's start our work on the petals. What I would like to do is with each rectangle we just cut, um, I would like to cut them diagonally just like that and flip them to create a little triangle just like that. But because my hot glue gun is not hot yet for me to uh, start to work with it, I wanted to move into um, another portion. That means creating the, uh, the heart of our iris. So what I like to do with this um, inch and a half strip of the yellow crepe paper, fold it in, into thirds, and then we will try to create some kind of um, um, heart shape pieces. As you notice, I fold my cut little pieces in half and now I'm just going to simply round them off a bit to create a little bit more of interest. Here we go, I have a mini heart right there. Okay, so now let's go and move on to um, a short, I mean the skinnier strip of our yellow crepe paper. It's around inch, not really an inch. So again, I am cutting it into pieces and then I am going to create a fringe, but th this time I am going to fold them in half and create and start cutting on the uh, open side of my paper. But just be careful because it's very easy to cut it through. Just like that, my hot glue gun is warm enough for me to start to work. So what I'm doing right now is just cutting a piece of my floral wire and I am going to try to um, insert it in between those cut triangles that you see on my table and secure them with the uh, hot glue. sure that your wire is straight so it looks cleaner. So now I think I'm happy with this with the uh, my wire. I'm going to apply a thin coat of hot glue and quickly place my wire right on it and cover that um, with another piece of my triangle that is on the side. leaf is done. Now we just need to bring a little bit of a shape to it. 
So I'm starting from the middle and rounding it off on the wider side. Just because I do like my leaves to have that little detail, I decided to cut a tiny little teeth right on the side, of course, starting again from the middle. Look at those little tiny pieces that I'm cutting right on the side. So that will for sure give me additional um, interest before I start to mold my flower. So I think we are done with all of them. So now it's time to form them. As you can see is I am stretching slightly right at the edges my crepe paper, but just be careful because you do not want to break those. I did not want to hold you through all the six leaves making process, so I speed up the video and right now we are in a stage of installing this additional detail on each petal. Do you remember those um, less than an inch strips that we fringed? These are the ones that I'm just installing right now. I think we are done we can finally start to assemble our flower this is so exciting I cannot wait so what I would like to do is start with those little hearts that we cut out of the uh, inch and a half strips yellow strips and stretch them a little bit and wrap them right around my um, wire of course with the help of the hot glue The center is done so now we need to put our floral tape into use and start our um, leaves assembly so what I would like to do is first secure again my um, heart with a little bit of the floral tape and then just start wrapping our leaves um, apart, uh, together so what I'm starting right now and of course that's my option um, I'm starting with my white leaf so I am going to attach one right to the edge of my heart and then make a one round of the floral tape make sure that it's tight and then slightly overlap the second one of course it's not that easy to overlap them right now as you're working on it but don't worry we can always adjust that later all what we need to do is just secure really secure those top leaves um, together so now look what happens i bend them a little bit and all of a sudden everything opens up so now we know and it's actually easier um, to figure out where our second row of leaves should go As you can see is um, i am installing them right in between the uh, the gaps on the first row I can see already my iris. Oh my goodness, it's so exciting. Now it's going to be the most exciting portion of our iris making. Simply adjusting it and forming a beautiful flower. So a few adjustments here and there, few twists and pulls and bends and our flower is forming itself out. I had so much fun making those irises so I made another one. Now I have two. I am still on the way to make a third one but I hope you enjoyed that video and I inspired you to try to make one for yourself. Oh, I love to make the pictures of uh, my flowers. So here you go, enjoy them.
Thanks for coming and I hope that you subscribe and sprinkle my video. Bye.